Welcome back. It is 515. We're halfway through the work week and the weather eh, still kind of mad. I guess we've got still a lot of clouds. It's going to be windy out there and it's staying chilly again. So this is what we got for your Wednesday. Take a look at hour by hour through today. We're not really going to increase the temps or warm up much. We're staying in the low 60s later on. A lot of clouds, maybe a few showers. I don't think we're going to see a lot of rain today, but a few showers are possible. Winds are going to be a bigger story today, gusting to 30 already nearly at the lakefront, 18 in Galliano. So your morning drive, it is going to be a bit windier, especially on any bridges or overpasses. And here's why. Developing low pressure or a developed low pressure. You can see it spinning right here off the mouth of the river. Now this is not tropical, but it's still a low pressure. It's still going to have strong winds wrapping around it. So look, we're gusting to 32 right now in Shell Beach, 25 in Grand Isle, 45 just off the west side of the mouth of the river and then gusting to 38 out in the Gulf to 36 for that location. So almost tropical storm like conditions for some coastal areas this morning and you can see your rain heaviest right near the mouth and in the Gulf. That's where most of that's going to stay for today. So a bigger story for our coastal areas continues to be coastal flooding. The water is higher right now by about one to three feet in eastern Saint Bernard and the east bank of Plaquemines. Fortunately, we are past high tide by a couple of hours, so the water is now dropping, but it is staying higher than normal. In the lakes, the water is running about one and a half foot above normal. I just checked the new canal station, so waters are up there on the lakefront, and we've got higher than normal tides down in Grand Isle uh, as well. So tides probably causing some coastal flooding, especially for any of those low lying roads. Now some other things we were watching for was that flood threat from rain. Not going to happen. We just didn't pick up enough rain. We're not expecting much more here. Many of our inland spots picked up less than an inch. That's not going to do really anything to our drought in the long term. Now down near the mouth of the river, some impressive totals. Nearly six inches of rain falling down by Venice, close to Buras, but look how quickly it drops off. Grand Isle maybe an inch to an inch and a half. And then once you get into Lafouche, not much at all. So the low pressure is going to spin away near the mouth of the river today and then eventually drop south. It'll take the rain with it. So our rain chances will be decreasing over the next couple of days. We are dry for the weekend, but look at next week. Next Monday, here comes our next storm system. This is going to be a fairly strong cold front, and I do think it's going to bring us some rain. So rain is more likely going into Monday. The exact timing that's still up in the air, but I think Monday is going to be our day here for some rain. If you are traveling next week, the good news is if we can get that storm system in and out, that means travel should be pretty good the day before Thanksgiving next Wednesday. Look how clear we are across a big part of the country. There may still be some ongoing weather up in the northeast, but here locally we will be cooler on Wednesday and then Thanksgiving Day. A nice, cool, sunny one. A lot of clear conditions across the US. So Thanksgiving looks like it's going to be a chilly one this year with quiet weather and sunshine. So some great news there. Here's that seven day forecast. After we get the clouds out of here on Thursday, we'll see a few peaks of sunshine on Friday. That sets us up for a gorgeous weekend. Saturday and Sunday we will have cool mornings and comfortable afternoons. And just a heads up, gale warning still in effect today. Still choppy going into tomorrow.